What's up, my beautiful Virgos? My caring, loving, beautiful Virgos. Shouts out to my returning subs. And of course, welcome in all my new subscribers. This is going to be a general love reading. The usual stuff. I ask a series of questions. Who's thinking about you? Is the first question. All right, my loves. Hope you had a fantastic, bombastic weekend. And I hope you have a productive week ahead. Four of cups on the bottom of the deck. Nobody's tickling your fancy, perhaps, Virgo. Maybe someone detached from you. Maybe you're the one that's doing the detaching and you're not really focusing on love right now. Right, who's thinking about Virgo, the Ace of Cups? It can signify somebody new, 100%. Could be a water sign as well, just looking at the energy there. Who's thinking about Virgo? Who's thinking about Virgo? Who's thinking about Virgo? Who is thinking about Virgo? Wow, Nine of Cups, interesting. So... Ace of Cups can signify something new, Virgo. It can also signify just an overwhelming feeling, a lot of love that someone has for you. It can be transferable energy, someone that has a lot of love for you or someone that you have a lot of love for, okay? But there's definitely feelings there. There's definitely emotions there. We have a lot of cups here, so a lot of water, a lot of emotion. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for some of you guys. Now the Magician card talks about manifestation. Perhaps you're manifesting your person perhaps they're manifesting you this particular magician could be someone that's quite a wise old soul they don't have to be older but um quite wise and somebody that may have some sort of talent they may have long hair facial hair um gray hair you know just to look at the illustration but the magician card definitely is somebody that has a lot of skill has a lot of potential and it could be that this connection has a lot of potential nine of cups make a wish there's somebody here trying to manifest something here could be you could be them like a fresh start or a new love just love in general remember when we clarify the energies can completely change okay but um yeah you could really be somebody that someone's trying to manifest right now so who wants Virgo who wants Virgo Queen of Pentacles somebody wants you baby okay King or Queen of Pentacles definitely does signify your energy somebody wants you somebody that you know I think finds you to be very caring very nurturing who wants Virgo then we have the seven of wands here could be someone that you pushed away. It could be that you've got your guard up. It could be that this person's got their guarded energy up. I always get guarded energy with the seven or the nine of wands. Um, it could be someone that pushed somebody away here. Okay. Who wants Virgo? Another ace. A fresh start, a new beginning. Growth here. Okay be interesting to clarify that energy but with regards to who's it that wants you someone's got their guard up i think that someone finds you to be very caring um very grounded energy very nurturing type of energy who truly loves Virgo? who is it that truly loves you could be a scorpio doesn't have to be the judgment card could be that they judged you you judged them um this could be somebody that is starting to see things more clearly now the judgment card can also talk about somebody reaching out to you giving you a call all right who truly loves virgo ten of wands so there's a lot on somebody's shoulders here this person could be struggling who truly loves virgo two of cups so there's definitely love here and then these two cards came out so what i see here is somebody that's kind of wondering what it is that you're up to they could be spying on you the eight of swords signifies somebody that has an outdated way of thinking maybe this is somebody where their mind's just not right okay they're blinding themselves from the truth not wanting to face the truth there the eight of swords definitely gives me energy of an unhealthy mind or stuck in a rut or again, some sort of like outdated ways of thinking of Virgo, okay? So towards the end of the reading, we'll see what's coming towards you in love. Let's go back with regards to the person that's thinking about Virgo. Why is the Nine of Cups here? 
Why is the Nine of Cups here? Queen of Cups. Knight of Swords. This could be someone that's been dreaming about you. You could have been dreaming about them. Why is the Nine of Cups here? There's too many cards. Eight of Wands. You could have met this person online. They could be at a distance from you. Not live like close to you. Somebody that you're in communication with perhaps. Because what I see here is um, very much spiritual energy as well like with the queen of cups i pick up on somebody that is very um understanding very intuitive okay so i feel like the person that's thinking about you their intuition is telling them to kind of like come towards you or make the effort or it's like they're determined they're determined to contact you reach out to you grow with you with regards to the person that wants virgo Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Ace of Swords in the reverse position. There's somebody here that's held back. Either held back something little or something more significant. Okay. This is somebody that I feel is not speaking up. With regards to the person that wants further, why is the Seven of Wands here? They're withholding information. Or fear or whatever or consequences why is the seven of wands here the knight of cups there's somebody here that is kind of maybe wanting to make things right the knight of cups signifies you know a lover or somebody that is in love with the idea of love there's romance here this is somebody that I think in the past lies, deceits, whether little white lies or something bigger, is has really come to bite them in the butt. Or they realise that. They realise that they've messed up in the past, maybe with you, maybe with other people. I don't know if this person can be trusted. Maybe you have trust issues. This person is either a karmic or they've been in karmic situations. And they're trying to make things right. With regards to the person that truly loves Virgo, tell me more about the judgment card. Four of Swords. So there's somebody here that's thinking about how things currently are. It's almost like a breath of fresh air, I want to say. There's a lot of fear here though. Maybe there's somebody they're, they're scared to reach out to you. They, they're scared to say what they want to get off their chest. Why is the judgment card here? There's anxiety, there's some sort of worry. Page of Pentacles. There's somebody that's realizing that there was or there is potential with you. This is somebody that suppresses their emotions or finds it difficult to understand their emotions. And they're realizing that. Why is the two of cups here? Like I want to say, like somebody finds you to be like a fresh, of, a breath of fresh air. So the ten of cups, clarified by the two of cups, definitely signifies some sort of love here. Um, and I'm gonna say it's sexual frustration for some of you guys. Page of Swords is like they're over analyzing something here. Why is the two of cups here? five of wands over analyzing what could possibly go wrong things that have been things that have been said but there's somebody here that i think their energy is quite yeah what i'm getting is somebody that regrets walking away from you or regretting the choices that they made this is somebody that's unable to let you go and it could be your energy okay are you finding it difficult to let somebody go scattered energy someone that is unable to let their past go and they have an unconditional love towards you, I think. I think this person highly respects you. Whether they've told you that outright or not, okay? What's coming towards Virgo is in love. The devil card. Temptation. You have been warned, Virgo. Could be a Capricorn coming towards you. What's coming towards Virgo is in love. Justice card, you see? 
the, the choices that you make or the next person that comes into your life, you're being tested by the universe, by the gods, whatever it is that you believe in. What's coming towards Virgo is in love. It's almost like the lesson here is I'm not going to act on impulse. I'm not going to act on my desires. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm going to sit and wait patiently. I feel like um, it's going to take a lot of courage. It's going to take a lot of strength. But I feel like a lot of you Virgos are in that mindset where it's like, I don't want to jump into bed with somebody. I want to wait patiently for the right person to come along when I feel like it's right. If it doesn't feel right, don't entertain it. Even if it's 1% Virgo. Okay. Should we clarify the devil card? Why is the devil card here? You're my favorite cut nine of one. See where God is. Why is the devil caught here? Three of cups. You know, you don't want to be pop. Look, exactly. You don't want to self sabotage. You want clear communication. You don't want to be part of any third party situation. That's not. Like I'm feeling that's not the vibe, that's not the goal right now. Knight of Wands in the reverse position is a player. You don't want to be played. It's that plain and simple. I mean, you know, that could be like, you know, lots of people don't want to be, who wants to be played type of and Who wants to be played gifted? Some people don't care. But I feel here like it's very important for you to not self-sabotage, not to make the right, uh, the same mistakes that maybe you have made in the past. Good for you. I love this strength card. Because you're very, you're a very healing energy to the people that you care about and the people around you. And you're happy to do that. You're just not happy to mess up all the progress that you've made. And that's not going to be for everybody. And that's where I'm going to leave it, Virgo. If you'd like to book me for a personal, get in touch. Follow me on the socials. I'll follow back. Catch me for life tarot. Again, I hope you have a very productive week from one Virgo to another. As I always say, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. And a gift that will catch you on the rebound. Mwah.